How do you think you've done in six months? Did you applaud yourself? Do you think you've done great? Have you achieved those goals? How do you feel? How do you really feel about six months? How do you really feel about your goals? How do you feel about yourself this six months? I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Six months has been deep. It's been what I needed. In small doses. So we're going to talk about it. Six things I have picked up, six lessons I have learned, and maybe, just maybe, you don't know that you're doing great, and this will open your eye to it. So let's go. What's up, family? Hello, how are you doing? Man, I've, I've missed yapping. I have missed yapping my mama. Before we even get into yapping, if you're here for the first time, this is your first time on my channel. Hello, my name is Jasmine Housemarite Kuma. I'm an actor, I'm a writer, I'm a host, and now I am a YouTuber. And I started this channel because it was first a leading from God, and secondly, because I love to share. Like, I live to share experiences. I love to inspire. And that is why we are here again on another video. Because, first of all, we are six months down the year. Like, how did it happen? June is here. July, in fact, June is leaving. What are you telling me? Look, June is going out the door. And July is just right at the corner. Like, six months already. And it's amazing because I had a plan for six months. I'm sure you had a plan for, I guess, the half of the year. Or just your journey in the year. I measured mine by six months. The first six months, I had a plan to go hard for myself, to focus on myself. And this is why we are here. Because I want to know, how do you feel? Honestly, talk your truth. How do you actually feel about it? So let's do this. I'll share six experiences that I've committed to in the year that just kind of make me proud of my six months journey i'm actually proud of my journey in six months and this is a mindset shift that i committed to that put me in that place and i want to share because if you still feel lost if you still feel confused or you just don't like where you are at right now by the sixth month this can help you the first thing i committed to is believing in the vision or the dream for my life the vision God has for me, the plan he has. This year, I decided that, yeah, I get it. I believe it. I entertained no doubt about it. It didn't matter whether my, my environment aligned with it or whether what I was doing in the beginning of the year added up to what the vision is. It didn't matter. It didn't matter who supported. It didn't. I had already made up my mind this year whether support, being supported or not supported, I'm that light source. I'm that powerhouse. I'm that voice. I'm that world influence. I had decided that, yeah, yeah, I get it. That's what I am. Whether or not I had started the YouTube channel, my mind was already there. There's something in you that has to go out. And what that has done is affect my psyche. Like... It's changed the way I see things. There's a clarity I, 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 I see with now. There's a way my outlook of life is now. I'm not limiting my mind to whatever. You have to believe in your dreams. You have to believe in the vision that God has given you. You have to believe it with your full chest. Because the thing is, you cannot be it if you cannot first see it. The second thing, aside believing your dream, is investing in that dream. This year, I was intentional about investing in my own self, in my own dream. It took me a bit to realize that, but I eventually did. I love to just be there for my people. Like, I even have this sense of guilt when I cannot commit to the people I care for. In the way that I want to. I just I don't feel guilty. I just I feel a certain way. But I've never felt that about myself. Like I, I'm good. 
it's all it, it, for me i'm good i'm just grateful that through my life i and and through stages of my life and relationships god just put me in relationships that they will look out for me so i've had relationships where i might not need to buy a dress for myself because my friend will buy a dress for me or something like it's not like i wasn't taking care of myself but i wasn't priority to myself if i have and i see something else i'll get it like the way i have been intentional about myself this year has been so aggressive i do not have if i have something to do for myself if i have a project to do i mean this year i've really been intentional about my creativity i've had to buy lights i've had to buy a microphone i've had to buy um basically gadgets like and these things are, are not they're not cheap so before now i probably be like mm, let me you know nah this year i do not have because i have to take care of myself i have to take care of this dream i have to take care of this project i have to take care of what is burning inside me i have to take care of it first and i had to battle that guilt that i'm usually having that oh, but you know this is necessary all oh, this person might need this and nah, 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 nah. this year it was a little bit of a war but i put myself first i'm not available if i have to create and most times i'm creating i i put myself in a position where if you don't get it if you don't see that i am being intentional about my life then it's not my fault like it's okay it's fine i i'm good with that but this year was and is an investment in my dream in the vision of god for my life I wouldn't be doing this if I was still in that my mindset of really being there for everybody whether they ask me or not. I had to strip myself of that responsibility guilt that because I care I am I can second best myself I can put myself in the corner no no no. Also as an Nigerian actor investing in myself and in my dream has done a thing to my value mindset. and this is personal this is personal to me and this is based on personal experiences as an actor in Nigeria the thing i have come to realize is that in this space in this industry there's a way we walk that can easily keep an actor small minded especially when you are not i guess a name um because it's almost like the system has a way of making you dependent on what is available you are restricted to what i can give you you are restricted to how i see you and if you're not careful if you're not intentional about upgrading your value like actually putting in the work on yourself on your dreams it's easy to get sucked into feeling like until i'm handed a plate i can't eat now nah. wholesomely all around investing my time and my money on my on my dream on God's vision for my life is done it is solid in me like there's a way my mind is now there's a way i feel now and in all humility it's it's the best place that i have been in a, in in a long while if you think about it they say where you invest is where you get returns why are we so focused on investing everywhere else and not in ourselves i mean you don't like yourself enough to get return you don't want a dividend on your own self think about it the next point is family who i have committed to family and i can't even take the 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 that's a glory or regard for this because it's all god i I've, i've realized over over a couple of years in my life i've been making decisions that in the layman's eyes like don't you don't you want to i mean you're an actor don't you want to don't you want to be big don't you want to blow but there are decisions i've had to make in terms of family that at the time i was making it it was just obedience it was just obedience to the holy spirit but eventually i realized that God, those decisions are the things that have paid me in this life. It was God's way of securing what is most important in this borrowed life that we are living. I'm grateful. I'm 
I'm just so grateful that I have a heart system. And to me, that's what family is. I, family is blood, yes, because biology. But truly, family is a, a, people who have your heart, people who got you, people who look out for you, people who, who you are safe with. That's my definition of family. And I'm grateful that I don't know about the numbers, but I feel safe. And it's, it's, it's not been a, it's not been an automatic journey. It's been a journey of pruning, attaching, pruning, and it's all God. This year I decided that, you know what? I see you. I will commit to you. I will commit even more. So I'm not even playing with family. I'm not playing with those who have got me. I'm not playing with those who ha are, are there for me, who've shown me their heart, who have allowed me to be vulnerable and have not taken advantage of that vulnerability. I don't, I'm not playing with them. And I'm also allowing myself to be vulnerable because that is one thing I have struggled with releasing and just letting people be there for me like I didn't know how to do it but this year I've allowed myself to be vulnerable and one thing that thing has done it has I feel blessed I feel blessed there is no lack in this system not because it's plenty but because no matter what it is I got you I got, I'm looking and without a saying, without a, I don't need to come and tell you anything. Like, <sighs> when it comes down to it in this broad life that we're living, you go through some experiences or we need to go, we all need to go through certain experiences that, that give you a life check. Recently, I was really sick and this is the first time I'm saying this out loud. I actually had a, a moment of is this it and in that moment i wasn't thinking about the fact that oh i still want to do so 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 and so 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 i wasn't thinking about what film i want to do i wasn't thinking about my anything i wasn't even thinking about purpose <laughs> i wasn't even thinking about you guys sadly sorry <laughs> all that mattered to me was lord am i good if this is it, am I good? And all that was important was that I had people literally holding my hand, someone holding my hand, a sister holding my hand, a brother driving. Like In that moment, that was all that mattered. And that is the truth. When it comes down to life pressures and the reality of life, the things that actually matter are family. And if you can prioritize those who see you if you can actually commit to those who see you there is a blessing in it there's just something it does there's a there's a there's something that does to your growth you will never ever be in a situation where you can't be looked after you can't be helped you can't be you can't have a helping hand you can't have someone praying with you you can't have somebody standing by you that's what matters so yeah, I'm actually really proud of that, that commitment, like, especially in terms of vulnerability, releasing and just allowing people to see me in my raw, like see me in my afraid, in my weak. It's, it's been a blessing. Family is not blood. Family is people that have your hearts. I come in peace. <laughs> the fourth commitment. Oof accepting who I have changed to become or who I am still changing to become. Let me tell you, eh, you are not meant to be the same person you were. In fact, I'm not the person that I was last year. And I certainly am not the person that I was the years back. No, 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 I am not. I'm not really interested in being that person anymore because Think about it. We have a we have a vision. We have a dream. And usually our dreams are bigger than who we are, what we can see, the capacity that is available to us or in us. So why would you be operating on the why would you be happy to get a compliment? It's not compliments, or get a, an appraisal or whatever it is that you are the same person of two years, three years back. No. I've changed. And I'm, in fact, I'm, I'm excited that I have changed. Like, if you tell me I've changed, thank you. Such a compliment. Because I have. 
my mindset has changed. I've gone through experiences and they've informed me. They've they've made me adjust. There's a level I am getting to. I said in the beginning, I believe that I am a powerhouse. I believe that I'm an influence, a world influence. I cannot be a world influence and be the same person that wanted to show that, you know, that I, I, I don't have bad intentions for you. No, no, no. If you don't know that I don't have bad intentions for you, great stuff. We move. <laughs> as long as I can check my heart. As long as, and that is the thing. Honestly, I'm always in a place where I'm, I'm, I'm going back to God to check, like, because it's still there. I won't lie. Most times I question, but with certain things that happen, I question, am I, am I? But once I can get that clarity that my heart is still there, like I still will look out for how to be good. Not because I'm a good person, just wired to care. But in caring, I am not the same person. I do not identify with certain standards anymore like if you cannot be intentional i'm sorry i cannot be there because i'm also pushing myself i'm pushing my myself past the envelope i'm trying to be better i'm trying to do better i have to be more intentional my mind has to be clear clearer by the day what do i want like what's the purpose what is what am i doing today how am i getting better today i cannot be the same person before and i really do not care i don't want to care about who thinks I'm fine? Who thinks I'm not fine? Who thinks I'm proud? Who thinks nah, it's good? Because it comes with change. The thing that's possibly stopping you or making you feel like you are lost is because you are still in a space where you care so much about what everybody else thinks and how you, you want to be right by them or do good by them. But you are stopping yourself from actually being valuable to everyone that is meant to for your journey not everybody will like you not everybody is going to agree with you not everybody is going to accept you. in fact the moment you change or make adjustments it's going to destabilize the environment you are in and people are going to have to decide okay i can go with this or oh, oh la la i'm out i think that the tempo is increasing so let's come down a bit <laughs> 2.5 <laughs> what did i commit to i committed to my health oof I committed to my health. I think I was already quite good on my health before relocating, but the whole process of relocating and just the stress that comes with everything, planning, all of those things, I just, I fall yakata. I just lapsed. And it took me back to a not so good state that I was. Like I had a health condition that I, I had been notified about and I had to be cautious about no, well, and I'm not sound like a death sentence, but I had to start living more intentional with my health. And then I just lapsed. So by January, I knew one thing. My health, we're, we're pressing P on it. Did I have days where, I mean, I was not up to par? Yes. Um, did I fall sick? Yes, I did fall sick, but it wasn't really because I was not being intentional about my health. Well, indirectly, I wasn't. I just carry work on top of my head. I don't know when to stop. I don't, I'm so hard on myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, baby girl, I see you. I see you say yeah, but yeah, I accept. <laughs> I'm so hard on myself. And once it's, once there's work, go is go. So I wasn't sleeping. Um, I wasn't getting rest. So yes, I was eating my greens, um, going to the gym, but all of that and no sleep or just mentally working. Like, you know, as a creative, your mind is just always working. Somebody smiles at you and you just think of a scene you could just put somewhere <laughs> or something. But I was committed to my health. Like I, I joined the gym, um, but because of my health back and forth, because of relapsing in my health, I know like I wasn't even committed in the gym, but I was still, I still would do my exercises at home when I'm not in the gym and things like that. Like I committed and I still am committing to being healthy. Being healthy is, is wealth. Health is wealth. And honestly, it's not just a saying. Um, it's not just a saying. I don't think like I can even add any jara to this thing. Like, 
imagine you chasing one billionaire contract that they're going to pay you and in your mind you're like i don't blow what more i could buy a house buy this buy that and then you now come and have one terminal illness or something <laughs> you're not going to be thinking about that first of all you have to pay the bills for the health do surgeries do all of the things involved and even at that all you you just want to be well you will not be thinking about all those things you want to get with the money health is well that is wealth. so commit to your health because it is wealth <laughs> the sixth commitment oh i love this one it's truth i think that there are some hard guy hard guy people that they get this memo some of us we are just entering the party <laughs> like we know we probably see the signs or we know um what is true who is true but we try to fill up for it i mean give people the benefit of doubt i, I will always advocate for that because i would like to be given a benefit of doubt but you know the thing when truth is so glaring you you call a spade a spade and in this year I've been intentional about receiving the truth. It is what it is. Literally. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> I like the space I'm in. I, I'm, I'm really content. Like, there's a level of intentionality in my immediate space that I just, I feel content. I'm changing. And I know that people are changing as well. So we don't have to be our cup of teas, if you get my drift. Like, people are going to adjust and you might not just fit into their adjustment anymore. And myself, the same. So what is true is true. And I actually have been in a space this year where I don't want anything that is seemingly like it is true or is trying to cover up that it that is not true no i don't want it like i want to still have a heart that god can use and i want to still be kind and i want to still be good as much as i can but i don't want to lie i don't want to fill up for anything or for anybody i don't want to fill up for even in, even in creativity if that's not working and that's not where my desire is or that's not what satisfies me in terms of creativity i won't force it i won't let it be the truth guides you the truth exposes like it it, it, it makes things clear once things are clear you will be doing yourself a disservice by trying to cover it up or fill it up or make excuses for it even in relationships, the, the, the thing is that it's actually very key to um, personal growth. You need clarity for personal growth. And a lot of times we're intertwined in relationships, whether emotionally or just friendships that work us up. You see the truth about that relationship. You know you should not be with that guy. You know you should not be with that girl. You can tell the, t the signs are there that, nah, this person doesn't have my heart. But you are probably strong on oh how far we have come how oh, we've come a long way what will people say guy my dear girl friend pack your slippers put it on top of your head and run run out of anything that you no longer have peace about because in 2024 the remaining six months you don't want to be in a space where you are battling emotions and you cannot face your front no you don't need it pray for a heart that would always love pray for a heart that would always be available but please when things are exposed keep them at bay whatever it is friendships relationships or even in the professional space don't don't die trying to get rich or don't don't go and kill yourself trying to get rich we see that a lot there are too many instances of people in the quest for fame being in company that they do not they can see the signs we know some of them we've we've heard about some of them and nothing was done nothing was done we just 
sing their songs and continue in life because the deed is done. They are gone. Once truth is clear to you, especially when it's glaring, accept it and move on. They say truth is a hard pill to swallow, but it is a pill. It's supposed to do something. It will help. It will heal. It would fix something. No matter how hard it is to swallow, swallow it. Drink water. You'll be alright. And that's just six. Six ways I have committed. Six experiences that have that I'm proud of. I'm not perfect. There's still a lot. There's still a lot. But am I excited for the next six months? Yes, because I have committed. I've done the work. How about you? Are you ready? Are you ready to commit? Are you ready to do the work? If you haven't, there's still we can start at any point. I mean, today I bought books. I have a I have in my vision and my plan to read ten books in the year. Ten books. Now today I buy two. Today, six months, but we move, and it's possible. I can still read those ten books. I'm committing to myself. I'm committing to being intentional. I am committing to my growth. See, I'm ready for God to work. I'm not going to give him any excuses. I'm available for the work. And I pray you are too. Honestly, I pray that these next six, this next six months for you, for us, for you who subscribe to this channel, for you who is watching this video, I pray that this next six months for you would, you would align you will see bigger than the who's, the where's, the what. You would actually face your front. And God will give you clarity on your journey. And God will put the desire to want to be better. Because you are here for a reason. You're not a mistake. You're not a mistake. A lot of us have gone through experiences that we know that should either be our last year on earth, but we're still here. You think God is joking with you. No, he's not. So in the next six months, prioritize yourself and the vision. If you have a dream, go back to God. Surrender it to God. He's always re he's ready. He's ready with arms open. Why? Because the Bible says the, 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 the uh, harvest is plenty. The workers are few. He can only work with people who he can trust will be, uh, will want to be yielded to his instruction so maybe yield and i think we have the best six months to come and by the time we're recollecting one year ah say beautiful stuff i love it <laughs> i'm an actor i'm a writer i'm a okay let's do that again <clears throat> Okay, let's do that again. One love.